Welcome to a Transformers Generation 2 video review. This time we're going to be looking at the G1 uh, Original Colors Grimlock. Uh, since I just reviewed the Masterpiece Grimlock figure, I figured it would be uh, appropriate to go back to his roots. Um, now, like I said, this is the Generation 2 figure. This is the not G1. And this is the harder to find version. Uh, the more common one was bright blue, which I always hated, and I refused to get that one when the first came. I never had the G1 uh, original Grimlock. I refused to get the blue one until I finally found the gray one, which was the only one I ever saw back then. And I still have it now. I am missing the accessories, the sword and the gun, and uh, the sticker on the chest is long since gone but for the most part it's still in great shape so here he is in his T-Rex mode you can see that uh... the head is a little bit different than what you're used to seeing it has the red eyes which the masterpiece figure uh... has also still really cool looking the masterpiece does have some uh, details that are in this figure such as these hinges here and just overall like in the neck area here you see like the mechanics inside to make them look more robotic so that's really neat um... yeah that's about it in this form start the transformation I'm just gonna flip this open the head Separate the chest, bring up the robot chest, and then pull up the feet to reveal the robot hands. Separate the tail in half, and then fold out the back halves of the tail. Go up at the waist to uh, give him some hips and bring back down the legs and he is done now for the most part the transformation was pretty similar to the masterpiece, masterpiece uh, version just the legs, robot legs are different and something I've always had a problem with this figure is it is really back heavy as you see I mean, almost all the robot is in the back so you usually kind of have to extend the arms forward to you know, it would help if I had the gun and a sword to give him a little bit more weight in the front but too bad I don't too bad so sad um, also don't have to I'm, I'm not sure if this ever had a sticker right here it's been so long but still without the accessories it still holds up some of the stickers remain or a toy that's over 20 years old about 20 years old it's still in pretty good shape um, let's see it has a red visor so let me just uh, bring the camera in still a highly detailed figure this is very popular and uh, most notably for being highly uh, looking very much like he did in the show with as far as details I mean as far as generation one figures go this is probably the most accurate figure well one of the most accurate figures that, you, that uh, came out in generation one so it's still really fun it definitely holds up in today's standards I believe uh, if definitely have, if you had the accessories it would be great and if you can get probably not the generation 2 version because that one is pretty rare um let's see i forgot to mention you know, it has the g2 logo there and it says autobot there so proof it is g2 so it is worth picking up if uh, you can get it at the right price because it is a great looking figure all right until next time Thank you for watching.